even lift my arm. <laughs> so hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am just in the door. It's really early. It's a Tuesday morning here and I just went and got my bloods taken. I'm actually gonna sit down because this is not smart to be standing up. Like I literally just got my bloods taken. Okay, so I'm resting. My arm is up. Oh my God, look how cute the plaster is. So yes, it's in my good arm. It's in my vlogging arm. So now I have to use my left arm. Like how inconvenient. She didn't really think this through, did she? <laughs> anyway, I just had like an ordeal. I'll not say it was negative or positive because in the end, I got my bloods done. It's fine. I don't have to go back another day. But basically what happened was, um, I just have really genetically bad veins like they're not bad they're underneath the skin they stay where they are they do their job and they're not designed to have a needle put in them um you know they like keeping their blood in them basically so i actually think that i have good veins because they're keeping me alive but basically every time i go and get my blood taken they're always like i can't find a vein so i went to the first nurse um and she was so nice like both nurses were so so nice which i'm so glad about because sometimes if you get a grumpy person it's just horrible it just makes me really spooked because i hate getting my blood taken but the first nurse was so nice but she couldn't find a vein and she tried twice and then she just like couldn't do it and i think she felt bad and she didn't want to like put it in again so um i went up and seen a different nurse who really couldn't find one either and she was feeling my arm for ages and it was just like this whole big thing and then i really thought i was gonna throw up like i got so sweaty and so nauseous and <laughs> just i don't know like the stress response in my body or something so it's really not the best start of the day but i have such an exciting day planned which is why i'm vlogging um i'm actually meeting up with one of my australian friends today who i've been friends with for like four years uh maybe longer maybe like five years we've been like following each other on instagram for like five years so you know that mutual follow um that actually is like a big thing like i don't know if any of you have like your pen pal across the world um that you've just been mutually following for five years um so today we're finally meeting because she's on like a europe trip and i'm so excited like i cannot wait <laughs> these before i forget because i was so very kindly gifted these headphones um earphones not headphones about a week ago they arrived and they are so cool they're beautiful so they're by the company called studio and they're rose gold and they're bluetooth earphones so they're so handy <laughs> them a lot for like listening to podcasts or just listening to music i just i actually paid for a spotify premium so that i can just use my bluetooth earphones on the go without data um and i am absolutely obsessed with them i also love these because they're so aesthetic looking the only thing i will say is when they were gifted to me um the person who gifted them to me didn't actually realize that i was vegan i don't think because this specific pair actually comes with a leather case so i emailed them and i asked like do you not have any that don't come with leather cases because obviously i would never have used my money to purchase leather because it really just grosses me out like it's just so un it's unethical and i just don't agree with it at all but actually this one is the only one that does come with a leather case so i thought i would show you anyway because all their other earphones don't come with the leather case it was just the ones that i was gifted that do and they are really good earphones and it was kind of them to send them to me so i was like i'll show them to you because i genuinely love the earphones it's just a pity about the case they come in but maybe they'll change that in the future hopefully they'll become a more ethical business and get rid of the leather and then that would be absolutely amazing so yeah shout out to studio thanks for the earphones Can't explain. Oh, yeah oh you done it you're making my dreams come true do 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 well, well. So I'm just about to get going now to go and meet my friend. It's like 3 p.m. and I'm gonna take her on a little tour of Belfast, which I'm really excited about, but I also realized I've never ever done that in my life because when you live in the city that you're from, like when do you ever take people on a tourist, like a tourism kind of tour? A tourism kind of tour, I that was bad English, but you know what I mean because like, I don't know, when I lived in Berlin, so many people came and visited me and I was so used to just knowing this is what you do, like this is the cool things to do. Whereas in Belfast, I don't really ever think about like 
where to take people. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm thinking I'll definitely go up in the dome um, in Victoria Square because you can see around the city. Maybe go to the Cathedral Quarter, Shore City Hall, um, maybe the Titanic Museum area, um, but that's kind of far further out. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna get going now. Up um, at the top of Victoria Square, I'm gonna show you. Hello! The famous Harland and Wolf side. And some more of Belfast. So I'm here with Danny. Hi. And her lovely boyfriend Cameron. <laughs> and we're just about to go to Lush. So the new Lush just opened um, a week ago um, and it's massive and I wanted to show you around because I went in the other day but I wasn't vlogging but it's like literally so big. It's actually overwhelming though. Like it's exciting. I went in and I didn't buy anything because I was like I don't know what to look at. Like it's too Normally big. they're quite small most of the Lushes I've this been This is in. big. This is really big. Like wait until you see. <laughs> I can smell it. I got the Lush <laughs> Cathedral Quarter now. We went for a pint and um, we've just been exploring. The Cathedral Quarter is a really nice area to come to because there's so many bars and also it's like a proper touristy area because it's just cute. So Danny and Cameron are taking pictures in front of the graffiti right now, which is like a standard thing to do. Did you get the shot? I don't think so. <laughs> this graffiti is really nice though. Well, it's not really graffiti. It's like proper street art. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the sunflower bar now. I'm having a pint of Erdinger and I've got a very special guest to show you because someone really special just turned up. Ta da! <laughs> yes, you! Wow, How was me. work? It was good. Um, I went home and then I went all the way back. Did you walk? No, I don't think Oh, cheers. <laughs> Tani, the German slash Russian, and Danny. <laughs> I'm having the best time. He's part of the Belfast Ukulele Jam Club, which is amazing! What? How's your Yiddish? I don't know! <laughs> I have just spotted a pupper and I'm gonna go and see if the owner will let me say hi because it's so cute! <laughs> Can I stroke him? You're poor too! Ah. Hello! Hello! So cute! What breed is he? This guy is terrier. Oh my gosh! Alright, sit, sit, sit. So, so cute. Sit. Give me a pump. I am actually having a lovely time. Me too. Uh, tell me about the ukulele festival. <laughs> no. So every Tuesday night in the Sunflower Bar, there is a ukulele jam Belfast club. And I'll show you in a minute because they're playing until 11 p.m. tonight. Slantia! But yeah, I met a dog, I saw a ukulele, and everything is great. And also meeting Danny is great. I actually never told you, but right? I've known Danny for five 
here and Danny, she's just amazing. Like if you don't know who Danny is, she is amazing. Like amazing. She's cooler than you. She's cooler than me. She's cooler than all the dogs in the world if they were all in the one room at the same time. Yes. Jamie, you look really cute. You look really handsome. And I love you. And I hope that everyone in the vlog loves me. Yes.